Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Look outside here. Isn't it absolutely beautiful here in Louisville, Kentucky? I'm so excited to have you guys here on the channel as today's video is exactly what it's titled. The five coolest features on the 2020 Corvette. Speaking of the Corvette, you know right back here, we have a lot of Corvettes typically right there. Well, there are no Corvettes back there because we have been selling a ton of them. The Corvette sales are fantastic and there's a lot of people out there waiting for big discounts. So I'm telling you, last month and this month, the sales have been absolutely amazing. I think we have about 21 or 22 in stock. If you look right here, I've shown you these right here. We usually don't have a hole here, but that one is being sold right now as we speak. I told you it was being sold. And then this is all of the Corvettes we have. We have no Corvettes up the top that you typically see I talk about up there. They're all right here and two or three over there. Now you may notice a little bit different picture quality on today's vlog. Well, as you guys know, the Stradman came here last Saturday to purchase his 2020 Corvette uh, that he will be receiving in the winter of 2020. And one thing that I love doing and hanging around YouTubers is seeing the type of video equipment they use, seeing how they shoot videos, seeing their style of videos. That's stuff that you don't get to see behind the scenes. Well, I got to see a little bit of that. And so here we are, $4,000 later, I bought the same camera that Stradman has. So uh, it's an investment and to me, it's an investment into the channel and it's most importantly, an investment into you to make a better quality video. So make sure we smash that thumbs up on this video. It doesn't pay me anything, but it would just be awesome that you appreciate the video in this new $4,000 camera setup with the thumbs up. So also I do want to say thank you subscribers. You guys rock, I'm telling you. So the only reason that I've got to sell Amelia Hartford and the Stradman is because of you right there. You guys tagged me. You guys reached out to me in DMs on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram. Link's in the description. I can't thank you enough. I mean, this is an amazing opportunity for me, an amazing opportunity for the channel, and I don't know how to thank you other than saying thank you. So let's get right into the one that's got everybody fired up and triggered as there's no more manual transmission on the 2020 C8 Corvette. We got that new dual clutch Corvette transmission. Absolutely awesome. If you've never driven a dual clutch before, you're in for an awesome surprise. If you listen to the video that I put up last Sunday, you'll hear those shift points hit really, really quick. It's amazingly fast. And yes, as a manual transmission Corvette owner, I get it 100%. You, we have to have that fun in changing gears, but it just technology changes. That's why we have an iPhone now and not a flip phone anymore. I haven't seen it yet, but that new high wing spoiler is pretty sweet. With ZR1s over here to my left, having the high wing spoilers on those cars, I absolutely love them. The ZL1 1LE car has got that high wing spoiler. Now this spoiler is not gonna be as high as those spoilers, but they're still gonna be pretty sweet. And I think most people are going to order them and most people are going to like that spoiler. Now the really cool thing about this spoiler is it's a four post spoiler. So when you look at it, uh, you have one on the far left, you have one kind of closer to the middle, and then you have one on the other side of the brake light, and then you have one all the way into the far right. Absolutely pretty sweet spoiler. Uh, it's gonna give this car a lot of downforce if you're sitting there tracking the car. Let's go to the inside of the car. I think those competition seats this year, I showed you those, you're seeing them on the screen right now. I think those new competition seats are absolutely awesome. Now, the one thing that I wish they had was full leather. They're not, they've got that textile, whatever you wanna call it, that sport textile material. I was gonna do competition seats on my car, but I did not do it because I want a full leather seat. But that competition seat is absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. And I think if you order that competition seat, you're gonna love it as well. The next one is on the inside of the vehicle as well. Back in 2005, I worked for a Cadillac store. Cadillac STS came out with this amazing center point surround sound speaker. I mean, we had speakers right over our shoulders. We had speakers everywhere in this car. It was absolutely amazing. Back then, they gave us a CD that was specifically tuned for that speaker system and we could play it and it was amazing sound quality. 
that was a four-door sedan. Now we have a 14-speaker Bose system in a two-door coupe. I can't wait to hear it. I haven't heard it yet. September 19th here at the dealership, we have our mobile tour. The link is in the description below if you wanna sign up and come in. I would love to see you. We're gonna have some fantastic things. I'm gonna have a fantastic giveaway for everybody who shows up to the first thousand people anyways, and it's gonna be awesome. But that sound system, I should be able to listen to it by then if I haven't listened to it already. And I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty awesome. As you guys know, I am a huge computer nerd. I'm a huge tech geek. And uh, one of the cool things that I like that's coming up in this car is the one-touch pairing. It's called Near Field Communications, NFC. So it's basically one-touch pairing. So in a nutshell, all you have to do is take your phone out of your pocket, hold it up to the infotainment screen, and it's paired that simple. So anybody who is not a nerd like me and technology savvy, they don't have to really know anything. They don't have to go into their settings. They don't have to do anything to the best of my knowledge. We'll test that out and play with that when I get a chance to sit down with the car a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure based off of what I've read and researched, all you have to do, take your phone out, click it, and you're good to go. For a long time, Corvettes have had that right there. They have had circle exhaust pipes. Well, I'm really excited that the brand new Corvette, the 2020 mid-engine car, no longer has those circle exhaust tips. They have square ones on the outside. So I'm a guy that has a lot of silly technology and information up in my head that's absolutely useless most of the time. But on this one, I actually sat there and did a lot of Google research pictures and whatnot. And I don't think Corvette has ever used square stock exhaust tips. Now I know there's a lot of C4s out there that's got, got those rectangle ones. I get that, but I don't think those were stock. I don't remember them. I may be wrong. You can throw in the comments down below if I am, but I love the new square exhaust tips. Well, there you go. I did not mention some of the most common things that we see on cars today. The power folding mirrors, the lift system. The lift system is absolutely awesome, but it's stuff that's been out for a while. My 2014 Tesla has got it. It's an absolutely awesome system. I love it. I'm super excited to have it. I will have that on my car. I'm not going to reveal the full details of my car until I know that I pass all constraints, that I'm getting the car, I can get approved, all that good stuff. But uh, so I left those few things out. Front and rear park sensors, backup cameras, forward cameras, all of that stuff I left out of this vlog because it's very common on most cars that are 60 grand and above. But I do like those features as well. So as always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Ooh, check that out. You see this? There's only a few of these in the country. One SS, one LEs in shock and in crush. Available here at Bachman Chevrolet, heavily discounted. 2019 Camareros. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new camera setup. As always, have a great day and drive safely.